All right, it's eight o'clock. I'd like to call the Water and Light Commission meeting to order here for April 3rd, 2024. Please call roll. Commissioner Grindy? Yes. Commissioner Beauchamp? Yes. Commissioner Quirk? Yes. Commissioner Riopel? Yes. Okay, thank you. Uh, approved minutes from previous meeting, March 20th, 2024. I'll move. Second. S moved by Punky, second by Tim. Please call roll. Grindy? Yes. Beauchamp? Yes. Quirk? Yes. Riopel? Yes. Bills and payroll? I'll move. Second. Thank you. Please call roll. Grindy? Yes. Beauchamp? Yes. Quirk? Yes. Riopel? Yes. Nothing from the public. Reports, Todd. Good morning. Morning, sir. Morning. Uh, just a couple items. Um, our 2023 miscellaneous. Really nothing to report new on that. Um, hopefully we'll uh, get some decent weather so we can get that rest of that cleanup done and the hydro seating. <coughs> um, our 2024 miscellaneous. We had the pre-bid meeting on March 26th at the DSC. Um, we had 11 people attend and uh, one person online attending. Uh, it comprised five contractors. Um, we still currently have eight plan sets that are out that are still <coughs> active. Um, and the bid opening on that is uh, April 11th at two o'clock. So it's coming up here shortly. Other than that, uh, we do have a design locate meeting at one o'clock out on uh, the Pebble Beach Road tie line project. And that's mainly concerning the Viking gas line that we have to cross there. Uh, we just wanna make sure we're doing our due diligence there and abiding by the, the rules and what we need to do for crossing those uh, gas lines up there. Um, other than that, 2024 equipment materials, that's item eight on the agenda. We'll take care of that. And that comes up. And then I've been working on map updates, the business highway two lighting, um, and then a lot of miscellaneous stuff this time of year with getting ready for construction to start. So that's what I have for a report. Unless there's questions. Any questions for Todd? No. You're good, Punk? Yeah, I think we got her here. Okay. Thank you, Todd. Thank you. Uh, Steve. I really have nothing for reports. I'll cover my item. Okay. He got a bad connection. Really? Yeah. You can dial into the Zoom too. If you read the email, you guess. Okay. Uh, Mr. Goldstead. Uh, not much to report. Still uh, <laughs> waiting on the uh, uh, some of the new information on the uh, earned sick and safety time. And then I'm still tr uh, working through the uh, the solar uh, ordinance, uh, make sure that everything is uh, accurate for the city of East Grand Forks and then complies and, and goes back and forth with our, our uh, current ordinances. So, unless there's questions for me. Can you, guys, can you hear me? Yes, we can, Punky. Okay, thank you. Thank you, sir. Okay, item number seven, change order number one, soda ash equipment replacement. Good morning. Um, Good morning. Yeah, just looking to get approval for change order number one. Again, this was for the soda ash project. Um, we had really had the two items. Um, the first item was relocation of the uh, control panel. Again, kind of from where we showed it originally on the plan to, I guess, kind of where we decided um, you know, we wanted wanted it placed. Um, there were some 
Additional materials needed with conduit, wiring, um, some plywood as they mounted it to the wall, um, and just labor. So that uh, was about $2,700. And then the second item was um, modifying the bag dump. Um, and again, that was come down to really kind of a safety deal. Um, we didn't want the bag dump any higher than that 36 inches so that you know operators are able to dump bags without having to get up on any type of you know ladder system or anything like that so again that modification was um, you know really a safety component so again we would uh, recommend approving change order number one in the amount of four thousand three hundred and sixty four dollars I'll move. Second. Hey, thank you. Please call roll. Grindy? Yes. Beauchamp? Yes. Quirk? Yes. Riapel? Yes. All right, thank you. Uh, material recommendations for 2024 electrical equipment and materials bid. Uh, yes, we had the material bid. Open, opening was March 28th at two o'clock last Thursday. Um, I did pass out a bid tabulation of the material and I'll apologize to Hunky and Mike, I did not get it ready in time to get it emailed out to you. So if you want a copy of that, we can probably have Keith email one out to you after the meeting, but we had uh, 39 items on the bid. Uh, we got the uh, bids from six suppliers. We got the uh, Board of States, Dakota, Gray Bar, Irby, Resco, and Wesco. Um, went over it with uh, Todd yesterday morning. Got it finalized late yesterday. Uh, we did end up Yesterday. Making a couple changes on item 23, that quantity got reduced from 40 to 36, just because the supplier had a stipulation that they had to be bid in multiples of 18. And then item 28, we are not awarding that, or not recommending award. Uh, we only got one bid on that one. That was the batteries for the Sugar Hill sub. And uh, the bid we did get was, was pretty high. Okay. So it's... It's really not in the best interest to award that one at this time, but we're going to pursue some other options there. Um, otherwise, everything got awarded to the lowest bidder meeting the spec. Uh, ended up with five suppliers getting items, and the total was $47,395.55. Our estimate was 51,219, so came in under that. So that was good. Um, so I'm recommending we award the material to the five suppliers listed and the amounts listed on the bottom of the first sheet. We need a motion for that, please. I'll move. Second. Okay, please call roll. Grindy? Yes. Beauchamp? Yes. Quirk? Yes. Reappel? Yes. All right, thank, thank you. you. We'll get them contracts out and get that material coming. Department heads, Todd. Morning. Uh, Morning, buddy. As Todd said, we're, I've been, we've been working on the electrical equipment and material bids, and then we did have the construction pre-bid meeting. We did get uh, 18 rolls of the 500 MCM in. Uh, we got three more to go, so we'll be able to get started on our uh, wire project as soon as the bids are awarded and the ground's thawed out. And uh, we do have that meeting with Viking Gas where we do have to cross our two pipelines up on 23rd. Um, working with ACS yet on their uh, four inch water meter at the mud press building. They were scheduled to do it this week, but the valve didn't hold, so they're, that's work in progress there. So hopefully we can get that in before they start running their water for their cleanup process. 
And Keith and I and Corey met with uh, Mayor and Crystal Sugar, Ryan Wall, on about some notices and scheduling of uh, power, if their generator's going out or maintenance, like any of those issues, so we can adjust our switching if need be. And uh, I got a call from Folsons yesterday. They're gonna put a new building in over there. We talked about it before, but they changed the location of the service from the east end of the building to the west end, so that's gonna change the location of the transformer. So Tyler and I are going over there, meet with them today. And uh, DNR campground, uh, the pedestals in there, some of those are 20 plus years old. Uh, Catherine did order some. So yesterday the guys went over and picked them up. There is some assembly there. I think they, I think she, she got 22, put them together, and they're going to start putting them in the sites. <coughs> where they're in rough shape, and then she'll she'll have the remaining balance if she needs any parts out of anything. So the guys started on that yesterday. So there'll be a few in there. The older older style are a wider bottom. So she'll have to see if they still make those or something else going to have to happen there. But other than that, that's about all I have, unless you have any questions. Any questions for Todd? No. no. Nothing. Okay, thank, thank you, you no. Todd. Uh, Brian. Good morning. Good morning, buddy. Good morning. Uh, Jordan uh, last week placed the uh, Consumer Confident Report notification in the April newsletter. They went out with invoices uh, for this quarter, so I'd like to uh, thank Jordan for assisting with that. Um, Eagle Electric was on site to run some conduit and they pulled uh, signal wire and communication wire for the soda ash control panel. Um, so essentially all we have left now is just some programming to do and uh, make that fully uh, automated. Uh, the, the maintenance staff has been busy uh, replacing the agitator shaft couplers on the precipitators. Um, so we hope to have that uh, ready to go here uh, very shortly. And then just kind of looking ahead, uh, the LAWA Technical Advisory Committee uh, meets today at 11. And next week we have uh, disinfection byproduct sampling. And that's all I have, unless there's questions. And interviews. And interviews coming up. Yeah, that's two weeks. Two weeks, yeah. 16th. But. Have you heard anything further on the Red Lake watershed uh, issues going on up north? What are, what are you referring to? Uh, turning over the land where it could affect the, the dam. What do you mean the, yeah, we, I checked into that, and so I talked to one of the colonels, the past colonel and the present colonel. And so the land, the dam, is that area is already owned by the tribe. And so that's already a done deal. But the Corps has uh, statutory authority to operate it. So unless there's some federal change, that's kind of a non-issue. I've had several calls from residents up there yeah. concerned that uh, it's going to really affect the future of that area. Well, and they were talking about turning over the upper Red Lake, not the lower Red Lake. And, and so what I had been told is some, some of the uh, local... Local people like the mayor, they had some concerns there regarding, you know, where that could go. And I and I understand why that is at this point in time. <coughs> I was watching some uh, committee meetings related to the White Earth, and they were talking about getting money back, getting land back there. And so then there were, there were quite a few people there that were up there uh, giving their thoughts on it, why they shouldn't and should. And, and so I can see how people would get concerned about or a little bit. Our water touchy. supply is safe, correct? Yeah, no, we don't have to worry <laughs> about that. That came directly from the past colonel. Okay, good. And the, and the present colonel was involved in the email. So I'm not worried about that. That's a non-issue. We, we, we're going to have some meeting with them here set up to check this, the flows coming from the lower Red Lake because that's the decision that we have to make regarding the if we're going to be in the Lawa project or not. If they can tell us that they would guarantee us 100 CFS coming from the lower Red Lake at all times, well, then we have a uh, no we have more information regarding if we get a, get or be part of the project or not, then because that's a pretty big deal that way. 
because we only need about 25 CFS. And so if they always send 100 and Grand Forks isn't taking the water, we have plenty, we'd have plenty then in those type, types of droughts. The <coughs> river is the only other user. Yep. So. Yeah, because Crickson's got their own. Uh, but you'd have some lawsuit evaporation and things like that. But. And so they, they're talking to them. They're setting up a meeting. There was a meeting this past winter. We weren't informed. I guess they let Jason Stort all know about it. Uh, and uh, But they're going to set up additional meetings. I told them we need to know this sooner than later so that we had all the information we needed to decide what we were going to do. Short answer for everyone is we're okay. We're okay, yep. <laughs> yep, no, I wouldn't worry about that. You're getting to be more like the mayor every every day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. That's not a bad, that's not a bad thing. <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Brianna. Morning. Good morning. Um, yeah, last week um, we had uh, several individuals from Brady Martz um, on site doing our audit um, Monday through Wednesday, and so that went really well. And then um, this week um, they're back again um, doing the city <coughs> audit. And so, yeah, it's going well, um, unless you have any questions on that. Um, Next week, um, we have a, I'm working with the city on a, our child care provider um, appreciation event, so that's already coming up next week. And so we've had um, some local businesses um, be great supporters of this event, and so I really appreciate um, all of those from raffles to monetary donations. Um, has really helped make it a, a more stress-free uh, planning experience, that's for sure. Um, so yeah, so it's been good and we've been busy. So unless you have any questions. Any questions for Brianna? Thank you, Brianna. Carla. Bree summed it up really good. <laughs> We're busy. There yeah. Thank you. Jordan. Good morning. Morning, buddy. Morning. So two weeks ago on uh, that Wednesday, I was over at South Point for that annual MMUA event. Um, they sponsor that annually. Um, there's about 175 students from both South Point and Sacred Heart in attendance. So I gave just a short, you know, five-minute presentation, handed out some things, and then the uh, Minnesota Children's Museum put on an hour presentation just kind of about how energy works, efficiency. So really good event. Uh, looking forward this month, I'm going to be going down to Plymouth on Wednesday through Thursday, April 24th through the 25th for MMUA's Stepping Into Leadership Program. So after that, it's just um, virtual sessions every month for the next year following. And then after that, the following week, uh, first week of May, we got the water festival over at the Heritage Village. So we've kind of been tossing around ideas for that, getting prepared for that. So it's a two-day event they do over there just to teach students about water. Besides that, just been trying to finish up some of our uh, annual reports and start working on some of our SIP stuff. I've been getting that information just this week. Um, for the some of our advertising, the Herald reached out to me about putting something in there for their spring home improvement section. And I know we've done that in the past, so I think this year we're going to include some more uh, seasonal rebate advertisements. So I'm looking at weatherization and AC tune-ups. I know we've done heat pumps in the past, so it's always a good one to do. Um, and I'm working with Midco on just coming up with ads for spring cleanup. Any questions on any of those? No. No. Uh, Thank you. No. Thank you. <clears throat> Corey. Mr. Keith. So a couple things. So the water treatment plant operators, you mentioned that uh, civil service is going to do the interviews on the 15th, and then we're going to do our interviews on the morning of the 16th. And so Josh and Brian and I are going to be in on the interviews, and uh, we did get plenty of applicants, so we're optimistic that we'll get a a good uh, candidate so that's really flipped around from the last time yeah it sure has holy yep yeah, yep yeah, no so hopefully we'll we'll get some uh, good employee and 19 yeah so 22 actually so was it 22 yeah at the end yeah oh so that's that's a good number 
So they're going to interview, uh, you know, close to 10, and then I hope we'll get four or five or whatever they send us because they, they decide that. So, and then uh, Brian mentioned the Lawa TAC meeting at 11. <coughs> we'll be attending that. That's over at the Hive. And um, there was one other thing, but I can't... Uh, any, any questions for me? I can't think of it at yeah, the moment. Yeah, I'm thinking about that with, with these interviews. Do we have any in the water treatment plant that are supposed to, are getting close to retirement? Uh, no, not currently. Okay. I just think we got this many applicants and that we're getting close on something. <clears throat> Keep a record of them. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no. If we hire this one, we should be good as far as the numbers. Yeah. Good, good. Yeah. Okay, so. that's it. That's all I got. Yeah. Anybody else have anything? <clears throat> Okay. No. All right. Thank you, sir. Yep. Commissioner reports. Anything? I've got one thing. Just a reminder today to all the employees. Uh, WSN will be in the uh, conference room downstairs with uh, lunch for everyone today. So remind some of the. You're supposed other to bring guests. that to me. You're not invited. That's yes, right, pretty much. <laughs> That's all I've got. Thank you, Tim. It's, it, it's a free will donation, correct? <laughs> free will donation. <laughs> Bring a soup can, punk. Yeah, I'll, <laughs> I'll be pretty close to home today. Yeah, I hear ya. Oh, they might deliver. Does DoorDash for you. deliver? Yeah, they'll deliver for Uber you. Uber Eats. Steve's got nothing to do. We can deliver to Mike. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, motion to adjourn. Move. Second. Please call roll. <clears throat> Grindy. Yes. Beauchamp. Yes. Quark. Yes. Reappel. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.